And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Raven. He is a, well, he's a platinum player now, done very well overall. He is 42nd in his platinum ladder with 152 wins and 151 losses with 931 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Southwest up against Draven. He is also a Terran. He is blue in the Northeast. The map is Blistering Sands. So, yeah, Blistering Sands. Known most importantly for these destructible rocks guarding your back door, you do have quite a large base, main base here. I don't think I've mentioned that before. I have mentioned, though, that when I played against a Zerg player that I felt that it was kind of small, but that was really just bad placement of my buildings. Building placement is important in this game. Not not this match, you know, StarCraft II in general. Building placement is important. You see, we both went just outside the line between uh, the Geyser and the Command Center for our first Supply Depot. His might be in the way a little bit, but he can always lower that. That is very important in, uh, you, you want that one as close as possible. That's just my personal preference. I don't like to build my first s supply depot out on the ramp to start the block off. That's just not my play style. I, I like to put uh, the first one as close as possible so I can get it done as soon as, pos as soon as possible so I can get everything else going as soon as possible. Do you see a theme here? And I have somehow taken the lead in the APM early on again. I guess I am just an early APM spammer. I, I did not realize I was. His barracks, though, is going up right next to his command center. Um, that's not something I'm used to seeing. But then again, you know, I'm not, I'm not that experienced with a player. Neither one of us has lost anything. What am I doing here? But I... As usual, put my barracks out on the front because really I want to practice. It's always good to practice. I don't complete the block off, but I always get that barrack there just to so I can re you know remind myself how far away the reactor has to be or the tech lab has to be in order to for it not to move, but still for it to be a complete block off. I do want to keep that in mind. His barracks is up before mine because it is closer, let's face it. And his mar first marine is out, starting to do some damage to my SUV. He will not survive. I'm calling that right now. Dead. There he goes. Overall command almost done. His his early game is better than mine, but he has instantly gone into a two gas with four SUVs. Interesting. And as a result... Well, he did supply lock himself, too, so I should be able to catch up here. Oh, a quick factory is on the way. Meanwhile, I am going for my second barracks along with a reactor on the first barracks. Reactor as well on his first barracks, but that factory is scaring me. I am going for my third barracks now. So once again, three racks, just my standard opener now. Even against the Terran players, I would think that on a longer map, I would go for the one racks three three factory. But I've really haven't gotten a spawning location on a map that I felt that was necessary. So we are going to be seeing Starport is on the way. So we are going to be seeing one 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 build, Destiny Cloudfist build, whatever you want to call it. I'm let's just call it a quick Starport build because that's what it is it's a quick starport and the reason for that is probably for medevacs oh i put my engineering at bay up to guard my rocks because my rear entrance or my my back door is an exit only no don't go in my back door i don't care how you guys interpret that and I have supply locked myself as well. That's why I'm going for two supply depots. Uh, I am getting all the upgrades that I normally get. Concussive shells and stim pack. And he is able to catch up with the APM, so he picks it up later. 
Siege Tank is out. So he's taken quite a substantial lead here in the army because I have continually spent on technology because of the reactors and the tech labs. They do, of course, stop me from building anything else while I am building that. But the army isn't too far off. I have two marauders, basically, versus his... Oh, another one spawned out. So now they are different. And he, he definitely took the lead. But I have more people. And that counts for something, doesn't it? People! Missile turret going up in the back of his base because he's scared of a quick banshee. But, of course, he has no idea that I went for... Marines and Marauders. I did stick with the infantry. He is pushing out uh, just with a small little force here of nine Marines and two siege tanks. If he's going for my expansion, I do have an eye on it. Or, sorry, not expansion. My back door. I don't like people going in my back door. He's checking out all the expansions, it looks like. I don't I don't know what kind of players he's been playing lately. I I. I have never seen anybody go for a fast expansion down there on this map. And he sieges up, and I move out just right as the siege tanks finish sieging up. He was going to go for my rocks, but uh, he was unable to do that because I went in and they attacked me instead. So I survived with just four marauders. He gets away with just two vikings. And suddenly... Things are looking up for me. He does get a siege tank out front, so he is going to use this as a form of a block off with that siege tank. And of course, it would absolutely take out all of these marauders, no problem, because these guys have no health left. Boom, taken out two at once. Oh, no. Down he goes. So, a little bit of a bad... My girl on my part, I should have just backed off, let those marines back into, or er, marauders back into my base. Uh, but now I'm wising up. Uh, I figured I would go for a counter here because I figured he had nothing left with after that push. But I'm going to be taking out the destructible rocks because I like going in other people's back doors. And he has nothing guarding them. I am continuing to mess up marines and marauders, trying to get an expansion while I'm going for this. What I assume is just a harass, but considering that he hasn't sent anything my way, I have to assume that I'm going to at least get a, a little bit of damage done. Two medevacs are out. A massive ball of marines is out as well. I just noticed now that he doesn't have any hotkeys set, and he doesn't even have a rally point on this barracks. He does not feel like he needs to use marines very often, I guess. Really, he wanted those siege tanks out. Second command center on the way, but I am running around the outside, and I'm like, oh, wow, there, there's the there's the starport. Let's take that out. Using the stim pack, that should be enough. No, he, he's got the medevacs healing up, and that is quite a few medevacs, and they will be able to finish me off. And he takes a commanding lead in the unit's loss count. I did not realize it would be that large. And he still has a larger army. But I still feel like that I am in uh, ahead in this game thanks to my map control from these marines and marauders. That have opened up his back door and he still has nothing there to protect it. And he's in fact building stuff right Right where I can go in and attack it. So I'm hanging out behind the grass and then, okay, let's bunch up and then move out. Using the stim pack, catching those, those marines off guard. Taking out the barracks. Taking out the marines. Don't see the siege tank. It gets two shots off, it looks like, before I figure it out. Going down, taking that out. Focusing down the tanks. And focusing down anything in sight. What I should be doing is going in and taking out the SCVs. That that would be the smart move. Once again, not paying attention. Once I, once I feel like I'm inside their base and I'm doing damage to their buildings, I feel like they should GG. So I don't feel like I need to go in and do damage to the SCVs. So I don't. 
but that's the game. So really, it, it doesn't matter what kind of tech that you can get early in the game. If I go for an 8 or 9 minute push and you're unable to finish it off, off of one base, you're not going to be able to, to rebuild everything that you have. He actually has a ton of minerals and gas completely unspent. Let's look at what I have. I have, well, I still have a lot, but I won. So there. I am getting that fourth barracks that I talked about and getting more than three barracks. Two sprawl ports are up. Never had to use them. But really, it is because even though he went for a, di a, di a diverse army with, with increased tech, I focused on upgrades for what I had, and I was going to stick with the Marines and the Marauders, and they get a ton of kills all together. Because I upgraded them, I didn't have to move up in tech. So you, you've got to be careful when you move up in tech that the opponent doesn't have a large army being built, and he did not make sure of that, and that lost him the game. Well, one of a couple things that lost him the game. Keep an eye. Keep an eye on your back door. You know, you don't want it uncorked. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.